Shanti. Nice to have the guitar back up. I haven't played in a while. It's pretty cool though, man. Ah, a little noise going on here. Eh, fucking breaking it up a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, how you guys doing, man? How are you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How do I look? Breaking things here. Shit's breaking. So, let's talk about the steel barrier. The steel wall. I was reading about the steel wall and I had to put... I had to pull out the steel string, right? Steel string guitar. So, um, steel barrier, right? It's not a it's not a concrete wall anymore, right? It's Trump wall. So you so you're following the news. You had um, uh, you had Trump uh, in the Oval Office or wherever they were in the White House, uh, talking with uh, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, and uh, he stormed out. They said, "Oh, he stormed out," right? And uh, said it was a waste of time. He came back with candy. <laughs> m M&M, Skittles, Baby Ruth. Uh, so it's a dead issue, man. Democrats are just like they're using it as a political pawn. No no wall for you, Trump. No wall for you. No wall. Huh? They seem to be uh, firm. So let's talk about the wall. Steel barrier, right? Is the wall going to be made in China? Uh, I did a little research on, um, on steel. On the steel industry. U.S. steel. <clears throat> Stick, uh, t- uh, stock. Stock symbol X. Uh, so Trump's uh, steel barrier will likely take some steel from China, right? So U.S. is number uh, number four in the world in steel production, right? Now, could we exceed the? Can we exceed the, mar- the exceed the margins? You know, what, let me. I look at this uh, this article, right? <clears throat> this is an article by uh, someone. <laughs> I don't know his name. NPR, um, NPR, uh, Audie Kirshen, Kernish, <laughs> Audie Kernish speaks with Tom Gibson. <laughs> Interestingly, I'm playing the Gibson guitar. Tom Gibson, president and CEO of American Iron and Steel Institute, about his reaction to Trump's aspiration to build a border wall out of steel. Uh, So how much of it is going to be American steel? This guy seems to be an expert, so let's see what he has to say. The U.S. steel industry has already enjoyed a boost in profits after Trump's administration slapped a 25% tariff on their foreign competitors. Now the steel industry is back in the spotlight. The president says he'd like an artistically designed steel slate barrier rather than a concrete wall between U.S. and Mexico. With negotiations over the wall at a stalemate, it is not clear whether it will be come to fruition. Blah blah blah. So, here's Tom on the uh, program. Good morning, Tom, K- Kernish. So first, we were actually surprised by the president's suggestion that he wanted an American-made steel barrier rather than concrete. Uh, were, he asked some, "Were you surprised?" Right. And Gibson says, no, we're not surprised. The topic of a barrier has been under discussion since the early days of the administration. Prototypes have been constructed, and there are versions of this that were made out of steel. Kernish, given what you know about the idea of this project, how much steel would would, would, would it require? Would the industry be able to meet those demands? All right, so can the U.S. do it? Gibson. The industry is ready to meet the demand. We estimate a barrier of about a thousand miles would require about three million tons of steel. Well, the ba- isn't the border two thousand miles? Uh, so, roughly between three and six million tons of steel. Right? The industry is ready to meet that demand to produce the steel that's required for the project. Cornish, a layman's, in layman's terms. Is that a drop in the bucket, or is that something that uh, we could su- that could have substantial impact on the steel market and prices? That's a good question. I'm going to refrain from talking about price, Skipson. 
But let's talk about steel production. Last year in the United States, we produced about 90 million tons of steel. We're talking about 3 million tons here. Well, I think it's more than that, right? It seems like more than that. We, we are operating at 81% capacity utilization. But the means still have a lot of unused, unused capacity and can be dedicated to just this project. So if U.S. Steel is operating at 81%, three to six million uh, uh, tons of steel, according to this guy, can easily be manufactured in the U.S. Cornish. The border wall is an extremely controversial political issue at this point. <laughs> no shit. How would that affect the thinking of steel companies about, about whether or not to get involved with uh, like projects? Gibson, well, I think steel companies will be ready, be ready to respond to a project like this if the government puts it out for bid. Obviously, there are, there's a political discussion going on right now in, in Senate, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the Trump administration has very much been supportive of the steel industry. This is why you see a tariff as high as 25%. That's Trump's weight, uh, 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 trade war idea. I think that there is definitely momentum in the industry. We're seeing announcements on new investment in the industry. I don't know. U.S. Steel has been dead as a stock. It's been down since 2009. Never recovered from the uh, the recession. It's like it's shit. But we still have. It's not the only U.S. Steel symbol X. Is not the only one, but it's a big one. But we still have not reached levels of production, levels of capacity. All right. So so this guy is saying right basically that. That despite the fact that uh, the United States is the fourth largest producer of uh, uh, steel, China is number one, Japan number two, India three, right? That we will not need one one morsel of iron or steel steel from China. Uh, so it isn't a made in China uh, wall, <laughs> right? I love the I love it. he said that it's a like a. You know, they're trying to shoot for Art Deco, like an Art Deco wall. So, um, what else? So, U.S. production uh, was 90 million tons in 2018. Looks like we could do it, right? So, so wall. Damn, fucking walls, man. We're going to get a wall. We're getting a wall. We're getting a fucking wall. Love it, man. Fucking wall. Right, so, why, why stop there, right? So, so it works, right? Walls. Let, let's, look, let's talk about immigration for a second. Does this actually work? How many illegal immig immigrants? Okay, so I, we see the value that there might be some, some getting in the way of the silk trade and the other trades, right? But, but is that really where it's coming in from? Is that where, where all this trade is coming in from? What about Canada? What about the northern border? Right? Why don't we build a wall in Canada? Right? Fucking Canada. Damn. We can make another wall. We can make a, a, a bigger... That's two. That's three thousand miles from fucking, from Washington, Seattle, all the way to the tip of Maine. That's, that's three thousand miles of steel. That would wow. That would be um, about nine, nine million tons more of steel, and we could block out Canada too, right? So let's see how many how many because it, well, if it's not about trade, then what, let's talk about the immigration problem, right? Because there's really nothing else to talk about. I would love for this discussion to be about how we're taking down the banking industry, how we're locking up the, the executives of the six large banks for, for tax evasion and, and fraud and abuse and, and, and you know falsifying documents and insider trading and Ponzi schemes, right? We're talking about a five million, we can't get $5 billion to build a steel wall in, 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 um, in Mexico, across the border of Mexico, right? But we, but we, you know, but, but the, but the banks are stealing billions and billions, tens of billions, 50 billion, a hundred billion dollars, right? No, that's a good discussion. Let's keep going. So, so, so let's talk about the immigrants. Where is the, how many immigrants, how many illegal immigrants come into this country each year? How many, how many, how many, how many, how many, how many, how many I got the number right in front of me. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. One million? No. Two, three, four, five million? Six? Seven, ten, 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 higher or lower? Ten, more, less, less, more, 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 twelve, twelve, twelve million, 
12 million tons. 12 million, I'm sorry, tons. 12 million illegal aliens flooding into our nation, right? Or uh, actually in our nation right now. Right? Where do they come from, right? So, oh, I got a chart. So, so this chart, I'm looking at this chart. You can't see the chart, but I can see the chart. It's uh, the number one importer of illegal aliens is Mexico. Six hundred, uh, six million six hundred thousand. Right. Second is uh, uh, that's fifty five percent of all illegal al al aliens that come into the country are from Mexico. El Salvador seventy, seven hundred million. Guatemala six hundred seven hundred million seven hundred thousand. Right? Let me start over. Mexico six and a half million. El Salvador seven hundred thousand. Guatemala, 640,000. And then that's it for South America, right? Look, look where, oh, no, 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 there's Honduras. But, but number four on the list is India. There's 40, uh, 4, 430,000 Indians, 400,000 Hondurans, 360,000 from the Philippines, 270 from China, 250 from Korea, Northern uh, Vietnam, 200,000. Dominican Republic, 180,000. Other. 2 million other. What does that mean? Other. All right? So, according to the record, 600, I'm sorry, 65 to 70,000 Canadians. Right? So, what's the number one way that the immigrants get in? They jump over the wall, right? Well, they cross at Mexico, right? Mm, wrong. Right? The number one, 45% of all illegals are visa overstays. Damn. So what are we going to do? How do we get around that one? Build a, how are we going to get, how are we going to stop that? We build a wall around the, uh, build a wall around the airport? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. So if 45% uh, of all illegals, I, I got I to, got, I right? why don't we build a wall? Why do we stop? Why stop in Mexico? Let's build. Let's go from from the tip of Texas all the way to the to the go to the coast of California, right? Two thousand miles of glorious wall, right? And then we we can block off the northern border, right? We'll go north too, right? We'll go from as I said, Seattle to to Maine. We'll get another three thousand miles of wall, right? So so we keep the steel industry happy, steel workers. <laughs> You know, and fucking build some fucking steel wall, right? Why not, right? Got nothing else to do, right? And then, um, but why stop there? Why not? Why don't we build? Why don't we build build seawall, right? We'll block out the ocean, right? We'll build. Let's go like ten feet from from Maine all the way down to the tip of Florida, the Keys, and then we could go around the Gulf of Mexico, right? All the way down to 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 the tip to Texas, where the other wall starts, right? So we go from from Mexico, where the wall starts, you know, like the, the Mexican wall at the southern border, and we'll connect it all the way around, right? Because we don't you can't get, let's not let anything in, right? So we'll build that wall around the Gulf of Mexico. We'll go around Florida, all the way up to Maine. A seawall, who the sea? Do we, that's over us. That's that's overestimated. It's like it's overrated. Right? Who the fuck cares about the sea? We gotta we gotta keep the aliens out. We gotta keep out the aliens, man. Dude, we gotta keep the aliens out, right? So then we go on the other side, right? So where we just connect the dots, right? It's easy, right? Because we already got the north. Once we finish the northern border, right? From from Seattle or wherever up in Washington State, right? And then we come all the way down the West Coast, right along the beach, right? Just build a fucking wall, man. Just build a goddamn wall up and down to San Diego, right? I think that would solve the problem, man. That's the shit right there, man. So I'm all for it, man. That would be, I don't know, you do the math. That's a lot more than, that would keep us busy in the, in the steel industry. We block the fucking ocean out, man. Nobody's getting in, man. Nobody's getting in or out, right? Nobody's getting in. Nobody's getting out, man. We got some, we got some serious wall right there. That's some serious, serious wall, man. We'll just we'll be like the steel industry, man. Steel industry will boom in this country, man, right? Any anybody who wants to get in, it's got to pay. Anybody who wants to get out, it's got to pay. 
Anybody wants to bring anything in, got to pay. Anything wants to get in, anybody wants to get shit out, pay. I like it, man. Marcus Conti reporting.